Hey guys, Rob up here. I'm going to do a review of the Turtle Beach Air Force XLCs. I did order the X11s already, so I'm going to be doing a comparison video of them later this week. But uh, watch this one first and then stick around for the next one. Alright, let's go. So first, when you actually open these up from the packaging, uh, obviously you will get these. It will uh, have a uh, chat thing here. I took off the uh, uh, boom, whatever it's called, the thing that covers this, so you know when you doesn't like have like harsh noises. But you know, I I lost it. I took it off. I lost it. Whatever. Um, but uh, this has a uh, nice kind of fake leatherish kind of thing around here, and then it has a um, mesh kind of material here that actually gets dirty really quickly after a couple of weeks using. So I don't know if you can see that, but they aren't white. Um, then on the, uh, the uh, around the outside of them, um, you have the uh, rotation of the uh, chat that you cannot disconnect. Uh, but it has this gray color that I don't really like that much. The gray wasn't really that exciting to see when I bought these things. But you know, um, yeah. Then it says Air Force XLCs on that side. You can also rotate them this way. You can also compact them like that. So if you want to. Uh, you know, put it in your bag or something like that. You can do that. Um, yeah, let's uh, look at the um, connectors to this thing. Oh, I also forgot to mention the uh, extendable thing right here. Um, it also has a uh, nice padding, that fake leather thing. Um, and it has that mesh material right there. And then, same thing, extendable. Yeah. Just forgot to tell you guys that. So, the other things that actually come in the box are the... Um, piggyback cords so you um, these go into your audio out and audio in the you know red and white uh, just like you would plug in your Xbox but instead you'd put the um, red and white Xbox cables in the backs of these and then you just plug these right into your television um, then on the other side of this you have here which this is where you plug in the 3.5 millimeter jack that connects all the way around uh, onto your headset um, you just plug that in here, and that's what makes it work. If you have a headphone jack, um, you can just plug it right in your television. It supposedly makes it a little bit better audio quality. Um, and you have an HD connector. If you have HDTV, then you should just get a uh, adapter for HD and plug these into that, and, you know, same thing. Um, also, uh, on the wiring, um, it comes with this uh, control thing. So you have the volume up, volume down, no actually uh, voice a volume thing which actually comes on the X11s not on this one um, and then you got the mute, mute uh, and uh, then a clip thing that I never really use um, comes with actually a 16 foot wire uh, so you have plenty of wire it comes with a velcro strap so um, yeah and then also the, um, when you go all the way around this whole entire thing at the end this is the chat thing that you plug into your controller this is the uh, thing that if if you unplug this from your control, you can't chat, but when you, when you put it inside, you can. So, so put this in here, and uh, it's basically um, it's basically uh, how you connect this thing. So basically, if I were to give this a zero out of ten rating, this would probably be a six, mainly because it's obviously it's not surround sound, but it's it has decent stereo. This is 20 or 29 bucks or something like that. I don't really remember. I got them a long time ago, but uh, these are 29 bucks or so. So, I mean, you're not going to be expecting uh, left or right. Like, you're not going to be expecting, like, pinpoint accuracy that you would get for the X11s. But, you know, you're expecting something a lot better than the uh, crap chat things that, they, that Microsoft gives you when you get your Xbox. Um, so, I mean... If you were to start off, if you really like, you really were low on money and you didn't want to spend uh, sixty bucks or fifty nine bucks for the uh, X Elevens, then go right ahead and buy these. But um, after a while, I would advise you to go switch off to the X Elevens because they are just they're a lot better. I mean, I haven't had them yet, but I know they will be a lot better because the stereo is more. Um, it's uh, way more uh, accurate when you go left to right. You hear footsteps, you know, all that stuff, um, and then also the. Um, for the X11s, they will have a high-quality mic. This one doesn't really have a high-quality mic, uh, but it's okay. You know, the mic's okay. So, thanks for watching this review. Uh, please look at my other reviews, Airsoft reviews. You know, wait for my X11 review when I actually get them. And uh, see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.